In this video, we're going to take a look at simplifying algebraic expressions by doing what is called combining like terms. Now, terms are numbers and variables that are multiplied together. For example, 3x squared is a term. And it could be just variables, something like a, b cubed, or it could be just a number like negative 7. But those are all terms, only multiplied together. Now, we have these things called like terms, and like terms are terms that have matching variables and exponents. If all the variables and exponents match, we say that they are like terms. For example, 7ab to the 5th and negative 2ab to the 5th. The variables and exponents all match, and they have to match exactly. If I've got maybe 6ab, that's not a like term with the rest until it matches exactly with the 5th power. Like terms have matching variables and exponents. Why is that significant? Because we can do this thing called combining like terms. We can combine like terms or add the coefficients from the like terms. For example, if we had a problem such as 4x cubed minus 2x squared plus 5x cubed plus 2x minus 4x squared minus 6x, there's lots of stuff in there. So we want to clean it up a bit. We're going to look for like terms. For example, we've got this 4x cubed. Like terms are where the variables and exponents match, and you'll notice there's another x cubed in there, 5x cubed. 4x cubed plus 5x cubed, adding the coefficients or number in front gives us 9 of these x cubes. Notice the variables and exponents don't change, we're just adding the coefficients. Let's see if there's more like terms. Here I see a negative 2x squared. The like term is the one with x squared also, the negative 4x squared, giving us a total of negative 6 of these x squareds. One more set of like terms, we've got 2x is like the negative 6x. 2x minus 6x is a negative 4x, and we have combined the like terms to 9x cubed minus 6x squared plus 4x. Let's try one more example. We have 4y minus 2x plus 5 minus 6y plus 7y minus 9. Let's look for the like terms. Going left to right, we've got 4y, negative 6y, and 7y. They all have y's on them. 4 minus 6 is negative 2, plus 7 is 5. We have 5 of these y's. What about the x's? Negative 2x. There's no like terms, so we'll just bring it down. We still have these negative 2x's. Finally, plus 5 has no variables. That's like the negative 9, which also has no variables. And so 5 minus 9 is negative 4, giving us our final answer, 5y minus 2x minus 4. We can combine like terms together by adding the coefficients, or the number in front, of the like terms.